Ever wondered whether gangs are as cool as Hollywood makes them out to be? Movies and TV shows often glorify gangs by showing them as brotherly, with strict rules of honor, and with funny bad guys. Most of the time, these shows don't show how violent these gangs are. But there is a difference between a small gang formed in a bad neighborhood and a global organization reaching the status of an army. Once a gang attains such a level, they pose a threat to other gang members, law authorities, and even innocent people. So in this video, we will talk about the top most dangerous gangs in the world. So make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 10. Nuestra Familia. Nuestra Familia is the sworn enemy of the Mexican Mafia. Established in 1968 by dissatisfied inmates from the prisons of Fresno, located in Northern California, they aspired to resist the oppressive rule of the Mexican Mafia. Departing from rural origins, they encountered prejudice from the Mafia's southern affiliates stationed in Los Angeles, which incited violent gang conflicts. Their core trade involves distributing cocaine, heroin, marijuana, and methamphetamine, just like Breaking Bad's chaotic chemistry. A distinctive aspect of this gang is that it accepts non-Latin members. However, initiation demands a solemn vow that places the gang's interests ahead of money, drugs, or family. This gang places loyalty at the forefront. Number 9. The Aryan Brotherhood The Aryan Brotherhood has members both inside and outside of jail, and their power goes far beyond walls, barbed wire fences, and armed guards. These white supremacists are clearly identified by their tattoos of Nazi insignia and hate language. Like most gangs, they deal in drugs, prostitutes, and killings that are okay to do. Despite having a limited number of members in American prisons, the Aryan Brotherhood is responsible for more killings than any other gang. You should not mess with them because they run many jails across the United States. Behind bars, they are involved in the narcotics trade and specialize in homicide. Additionally, it has been reported that they have issued assassination contracts to individuals residing outside. Number 8. Latin Kings The Latin Kings are without a doubt one of the 10 most dangerous gangs in the world. The largest street gang in the world is composed of Hispanics and Latinos. The Latin Kings have been around since the early 1950s. They came together to fight racism in the area and make things better for Latinos in Chicago. They engage in extortion, burglary, homicide, and drug trafficking, in addition to drug trafficking, as their primary source of income. The Latin Kings have a clear formal organizational structure and rules that all members must follow. They also have their own manifesto that they follow. In addition, they are very brutal and got a lot of their power and impact by wiping out other gangs. Don't expect any kindness from the Latin Kings if you get in their way. Number 7. Mara Salvatruca. Mara Salvatruca, or MS-13 initially formed to shield Salvadorian immigrants, but swiftly transformed into a formidable criminal force. Numerous members were sent away after the Salvadoran Civil War in 1992, making their presence in South America stronger. Even though they work in many places around the world, most of them are in South America. Disturbingly, MS-13 coerces youngsters into joining, subjecting them to a brutal initiation minus 13 seconds of a harsh beating. Their criminal activities include larceny, human trafficking, and the heinous crime of child prostitution. They have a lot of political power in El Salvador and control the country's marijuana trade. MS-13's story is dark, with crime, power, and sorrow all woven together. Number 6. The Crips The Crips are one of the biggest gangs in the United States. They were founded by Raymond Washington and Stanley Tookie Williams. Their activities include drug selling, robberies, murders, and assassinations. The gang has about 30,000 to 35,000 members who all wear blue to show they are part of the group. African-American men in their teens or early 20s make up most of this gang. They do violent things all the time and are very visible on the streets of Los Angeles. It is thought that there are more than 800 Crips groups in the United States with the gang reveling in violence. Number 5. Triads. Triads which are frequently linked to Chinese organized crime, constitute an intricate network of interdependent organizations as opposed to a unified entity. This sprawling syndicate thrives prominently in Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan, and extends its influence to the West, notably with groups like San Francisco's Watching, Aka Dub C, or Insane Dragons. Triad operations span a wide spectrum, 
including, but not limited to smuggling, forgery, and engagement in white-collar criminal activities. In contrast to their historical emphasis on ritual, contemporary triads frequently prioritize less formalized practices. Initiates are required to take 36 oaths of honor as a symbol of their dedication to this complex underworld, where routine operations encompass a variety of unlawful endeavors. Number 4. Primero Commando de Capital In 2006, Sao Paulo, Brazil faced chaos when gangs unleashed violence, burning buses, engaging in shootouts with police, and causing prison riots. The Primero Commando de Capital, also known as PCC, which started as a jail soccer team, and became Brazil's biggest criminal gang, grew during this time of chaos. Even though the economy was bad, the PCC protected prisoners and grew its power as the jail population grew. The PCC controls all of Brazil's prisons today and, surprisingly, charges members around $233 a month in dues. They have about 10,000 members in Sao Paulo alone, and their unity is maintained by ruthless measures, including eliminating internal rebels. The PCC's power and influence extend far beyond the prison walls. Number 3. Medellin Cartel You've likely heard of the Medellin Cartel, especially its infamous leader, Pablo Escobar. His gang became a major player in cocaine trafficking, sending a whopping 85% of it to the United States. To protect their interests, they formed different groups and even used small troops to scare workers and stop them from joining unions. The cartel flourished between the mid-1970s and the early 1990s, aided by corrupt Colombian authorities. Despite the risk of facing U.S. charges, Escobar boldly fought to keep his cartel alive, resorting to assassinations and violent terrorism. It was a turbulent era defined by crime, corruption, and a never-ending quest for power. Number 2. Yakuza Dating back to the 1600s, the Yakuza gang clings to a strict code rooted in history. Porting full body tattoos, they've blended into Japanese society with semi legit businesses. The Yamaguchi Yumi is the oldest and richest Yakuza gang in the world, with 8,500 members and a history that goes back 100 years. In addition to engaging in illicit activities such as bribery, extortion, drug and weapon trafficking, real estate investment, and wagering, they also partake in unanticipated ventures like internet pornography. Even though they stay out of sight, they have a lot of power and manipulate politics from behind the scenes. Their inked bodies make them a powerful force that will never be forgotten in Japan's criminal world. Number 1. La Cosa Nostra The Sicilian Mafia, also known as La Cosa Nostra, has ruled the criminal scene globally for over 200 years. Starting in Sicily, Italy, this syndicate has expanded worldwide, notably in North America. In the early 1900s, as depicted in The Godfather, part two many immigrants arrived in the U.S. seeking a fresh start. Among them were mafia members who set up operations in cities like New York and Chicago. Unlike some gangs, Cosa Nostra abides by a code of honor, avoiding violence unless it is absolutely necessary. However, when provoked, they unleash brutal force, evident in events like the 1929 St. Valentine's Day Massacre. With almost 40 recent mafia hits, their appetite for violence remains undeniable. Deciding to join these gangs is super dangerous and can change your life forever. Despite the evident risks, a concerning number of young individuals continue down this treacherous path. The question lingers. What motivates them to embrace such danger? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. So do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.